totally beverages. And sometimes hot sauce. That is a tasty root beer. Coffee. Water. Cerveza. Mountain Dew. Beverages. 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 Hot sauce. Beverages. 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 Hot sauce. Totally beverages and sometimes hot sauce. The show that was almost called K Cups with Roro. I'm Psychic Andy, but you can call me Roro. Here, right next to me, the beautiful, just woke up, blue eyed Barbadian. Oh. How are you, JoJo? I didn't get a bottle opener from Adobo Chico. Oh, that's a nice palate cleanser you got there. Thank you. It's great to be here. Top of, Top the, morning of the morning. To you. Top of the morning to you. Oh. Yeah. Very special morning episode. Couldn't be more appropriate. We're going to dive in deep on the cold brew coffee, which I know is something you hold near and dear. I do. Heart. I love it. I love it. As a as a acid sufferer in my body, I it's a great thing. It's lower in acid, so that helps me. As opposed to what would an alternative be that's hurting you more? Just regular ass brewed coffee, apparently has a lot more, I think it gets more of the oils out of the beans, and it's got more acid in those beans, and so, so it's a something about ride. the heating method, smoother ride all around. They even say you can heat up cold brew, which is not true. I've tried it. It's disgusting. Oh, that's really interesting. I never yeah. thought about what would happen if you heated up cold brew, especially one of these ones that you're buying at the store, like we're going to tango with in a little bit. Yes, yeah, throw the whole plastic bottle in the mic and see what goes on. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that with the winner. I love it. Oh. Well, a little uh, quick business at the top of the show. The headline here is last last week, I was feeling very down. Let me just grab this painting real quick. I was feeling sad, if you will. You still have it. And you were going to buoy my spirits this week, if you recall. You'd said last week we were going to oh, have a fresh attitude about. Let me get big here for a quick second here. About my painting. Oh, my God. Look at that. Now, it's day beautiful. one, day one, we were like, <laughs> this is so beautiful. Yes. And I still agree with that. I'm That's... not just doing this for a bit. I'm saying it is beautiful. One of the most beautiful things about it, besides this wonderful gradient background, it feels like you got some light and shadow play behind with that root beer sign could even be illuminated. I remember thinking that the first day, but I also remember thinking, like, is he alone in the bar? It really does get you thinking about the Tapper Men's life. Does he have a name in the game lore? That's a great question. I'll get back to you on that. Okay. But anyways, we were feeling low. You had promised to buoy my spirits this week, which let me tell you, you really have already done. Thank with you. With the backlighting comment. I wonder how long it took you to think that up. But Not long at all. It was present. Something me. happened beyond my wildest dreams the the morning after we aired last week. That's right. And I'm going to pull it up right now. Are you ready for this? Born ready. <sighs> Holy shit, we have a winner and a person of their word. Randy said he'd hit 20000 in Tapper for Dr. Rosen Rosen's museum where the original painting, and he did it. Randy posted with proof is exactly what we asked for. He's rocking the Totally Beverages limited edition Tabasco themed shirt. So good. Holding up his score. He, what do you get? 22, 22 what do you get? 575. A very respectable high score. And yes, he even was posting in the comments during the show over the last few weeks when we first put it out. First of all, the second we announced it, um, shout out Sydney Sweeney and the Killers in your uh, Twitter recommends there. And um, he said, he said, I'm gonna get it. He was the first person to hit that button, saying, I'm gonna do this. Weeks go by. The man goes down with COVID. Apparently, comes back and immediately bounces back with this high score. This Un is a real win. Unreal, Randy. You are a legend, and I can't help to think that through it all, um, what was driving you. Was this? What, and as I promised, we're gonna put we're gonna put Randy's high score. I'm gonna do a little adjustment here. I'm gonna put Randy's high score here. I'm gonna sign it. I think down here. I'm gonna fix the root beer. I'm really gonna spruce this up before we get it in the mail to you, Randy. Okay. I 
I worry about you doing too much. To, you know, part of the the magic is the painting as is. But look, do you they think say I should just do? I think the score is really key. The Mona Lisa had you're right layers upon layers on it. They've done scans of it, right? And there are many versions underneath. So I think it's fair if you want to add whatever you want. If you want to spruce it up, you do it. <sighs> okay. Anyways, Randy. I can't tell you how much gas you put in my tank. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Have and you started any other painting since he won that? No. But I'm thank surprised. you for planting that seed. Planting that seed. Okay. Let's get down to let's get down to the main event. Um I couldn't be more excited about our guest today. Oh. You may know her from podcasts like Nobody's Listening Right, Totally Lame, Totally Married, mm. Totally Mommy. Ah! Oh, maybe you're a fan of one of the TV shows she's written on. Maybe you like I'm Sorry, The Village, or A Million Little Things. Maybe you share a home and family with her like I do. Um, please welcome my favorite person in the whole wide world, Elizabeth Lame. Hello! Uh. Hello. So happy to finally have gotten the invite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. Jojo, do you remember? Uh -huh. Has Elizabeth ever been on the show? We couldn't remember. Well, on the breast milk episode. Oh, my. How <laughs> could we forget? Uh, you know what? I had the thought the other day because I, in our medicine cabinet, have a tincture they made from one of my children's placentas. And I was like, I wonder what that's like <laughs> these days <laughs> or ever. It was just hanging out in the back of the. Well, yeah, it's been there. It's been there going on eight and a half years now. So might you... be time to, you know, do a, I don't know if Carol went that route. <laughs> she just threw it out. <laughs> I don't know if I should, like literally a week ago. I might oh still be God. able to get it back. It's the, somewhere around, but it the, was. I mean, equally as old or almost the, as old. The anyway. first place I went, Elizabeth, was maybe that could be a secret ingredient, as Artemis coined in the Elizabeth Lamazing Old Fashioned. <laughs> that was just like <laughs> just a hint. of my placenta. <laughs> um, I do want to very quickly thank you for having me. It is an honor and a privilege, as mm. you know. And I also want to speak to that painting. I don't want, I'm so thrilled for Randy. Um, I don't want this to color anything for him, but since you are going <laughs> to do a, another whirl around the carousel, uh, your son, Andy, who, you know, doesn't tell lies at all, always speaks the yeah. truth. Yeah, where are you going with this? <laughs> said he <laughs> really liked, he said it's a beautiful painting. Oh, great. But, he thinks you could have done a better job on the man's mustache. Well, what is better? What does that even mean in the art world? I... <laughs> I, to be fair, here's the problem with that comment is one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's from the, it's from the innocent mouth of a, a six and a half year old. And he has played the game. I was going to say, if he hasn't played the game, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But he has played the game. So that, it's probably that beating comment, your high score, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, he probably. He's on his way. Also, Elizabeth, um, if we're going to be super real about the painting, <laughs> I did kind of pry for a compliment about the painting. And she kind of dismissed it. But not in like a way of like, she was just like busy or something, I think, when I... When I asked about it, but I immediately you... started uh, going through drawers in the kitchens. <laughs> it's like, where is that I egg beater? Like... We had one, I swear. <laughs> I, I was like legitimately busy, like doing our taxes type of like serious. And Andy's like, hey, babe, what do you think of this? I'm like, what? But, but also to your credit, you clocked that maybe, maybe I was a little deflated from it. And I remember later that day you came in and you're like, oh, like you saw it in the studio and you're like, that really is pretty good. Oh my God, Randy's in the chat. I know, Randy's, in the Randy's chat. here. I'm so Thank happy. Thank you, for Randy. Him. Randy, I'm so excited uh, for you to have this. And and uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Anyways, we'll we'll leave it there. Randy, the painting is on its way to you, and uh, everybody loves it. 
that's all we can say. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, how we like to start the show with a guest, because I don't think we did this on the, maybe we did on the breast milk episode, but a lot's happened. You have kids that are much older now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we like to do what's called the beverage profile, and that's where we get to know you uh, in your beverage profile. And I'm so excited for JoJo to pry a little bit here and maybe ask questions I might not have thought of, because I'm, I'm living with you, but maybe that's I'm not true. catching all the details, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what we do is we're going to go through a typical day in Elizabeth's life from the time you get up, and we're going to learn what you drink throughout the day. So what time are you getting up these days? Um, Probably 7. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of sleeping in now. I, I need to start waking up earlier so I can walk. Mm, different podcasts, but thanks. <laughs> uh, yep, waking it. Should I just dive right in? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, what, what's uh, happening? Yeah. So you're waking up at 7 o'clock. What's the first thing that hits your lips? Um, First thing Beverage is a wise. coffee. And mm -hmm. I will say my, my profile has changed recently because I um, have – I usually would put some – coconut milk sweet cream creamer and i use our um what's our coffee maker called the nespresso the nespresso and i do love the nespresso and i usually use either either like a vanilla flavor not flavored it's like essenced coffee yeah. or chocolate fudge essenced mm. coffee is the vanilla one called vanilla custard is that yes right? yeah vanilla custard Delightful. And I really love both of those, and I switch it up. And normally, then coconut I would put cream in each of those. In usually, one. but as of late, I have stopped with the creamer. I've been going black because I'm trying to not do so much sugar right out the gate in the day. Um, <clears throat> Fair. And so then, but what I will say is. Alternatively, if I need a little pick-me-up, which happens probably two to three times a week, I will go out and get an iced coffee. I don't mm. like home iced coffee. Maybe today will change that for me. Um, but I wanted to ask you, JoJo. <laughs> oh, I really fucked up. Go ahead. Uh, I did want to ask you, JoJo, what is the because you seem knowledgeable and I don't know this what is the difference oh between cold brew and iced coffee I truly like an idiot have been going places and being like can I have an iced coffee and they're like we have cold brew we I'm like okay <laughs> Pe yeah people need to relax on that I feel like there is a difference I mean iced coffee is uh what I recently described to somebody as old and cold, right? Like it's usually like at a coffee place, it's the day old coffee usually or whatever, or they may be brewing, they might be brewing it just for that, but it's hot coffee that then is cooled down. So it's like that brewing method. So it should taste like that coffee, but just cold. And uh, the cold brew is a different extraction type. So you're taking the grounds, you're putting water over the grounds, but you're just leaving it at room temperature. And it takes longer to brew. Do you takes put like hot water day. over the ground? I mean, you would just have to. Just regular ass tap oh. water. Wow. Yeah. And so that's why it takes a long time. It takes like, a, it's like a 24 plus hour thing to do. And then oh, you get your. That's why it's pricey. Cold brew concentrates. Yeah. Well, I love, like here in Los Angeles, I love La Mel cold brew. <clears throat> we used to live a stone's throw from that place. We spent our entire life savings there. <laughs> I, no, I did. Because I'd go there every morning and get like a pastry and a, a iced coffee. And it's so good. And so that really sets my day off to a, a happy start. Do you now, still just, go over there? Like, will I, you still make the trip? I do. And then there's a place here closer to us uh, that I tr I've tried. And now there's a little Christian shop that popped up. Nothing, not to disparage a whole religion. Its coffee is not as good, but it'll do in a pinch. Um, and so <laughs> that shots fired. That wow. has been my my ex coffee experience. But I will say, coffee is so 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 deeply important to me. If I don't have coffee, like I cannot. It, it's a it's a major source of joy in my life. And you, so. it's 9.20 right now as we record this. Are you feeling a little unhinged because have you had anything yet? Do I look unhinged? <laughs> yes, I am. So and I'm 
I'm wondering when I kind we're of gonna get when like, can we start? We'll, we'll race through this profile. Okay. But so we probably should have done this in the Artemis format where we just started with the drinks right away. <laughs> it is, I, yeah, I've, Daddy went out last night. I'm also feeling a little, uh, <laughs> a little shaky at the moment. I was wondering, uh, with, the, with your Nespresso, the Nespresso is something that's always eluded me. I'm not even sure if I've ever had coffee from a Nespresso machine. It's a pod situation or, or uh, uh, oh, like their over. packets? Yeah, honestly. Thank you for the invitation. I will. Yeah, it's it's great. And you know what? The iced coffee of theirs, maybe it's because it's not cold brew. I don't like the Nespresso iced coffee. I've tried it. Um, we have several sleeves of that. Maybe, Andy, you want to do a giveaway of our Nespresso sure. cast-offs. But um, the <laughs> hot coffee is really delicious. And it what Nespresso does is it makes it with this, like, kind of creamy foam on top, mm. which is not a cappuccino, but and it's not that foamy. But it is it does feel, like, luxurious. And sure, I really love it. It's definitely a step above the the K cups of the world and the Keurigs. It's a different. I mean, it is. A, I think it start. It is an espresso machine. Also, um, there are coffee pods too. But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. Do you ever make a swirl with the vanilla and the chocolate? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. Interesting. A combo. Could it, would it even work? You know, <laughs> probably not. I don't know if it would, and then you'd be throwing away two two Nespresso two Nespresso experiences. But, um, okay, so moving on from there. She's oh, a professional, knows how to move this thing along, <laughs> right. keep this thing on pace. Let's get to these. this coffee. Uh, yeah, you move on. You've had this coffee, uh, black, you went vanilla custard today, and that was great. And then what's happening next, uh, up through lunchtime? So yeah, then I'm lunchtime. just going straight water. I love ice water, and in fact, Andy and I have been eyeing a little ice maker. <gasps> oh gosh, Elizabeth, be careful. It's on the vision board. It's been there since Maddie Ross's episode, right there next to oh. Kate Winslet. Oh. There is the opal right there. That Can very one. No, well, I don't. Well, no, I want to throw, I'm going to throw a wrench in this because I went to my friend's house for a party and she had this cute little one countertop with the like same little crunchy nugget, like Sonic style ice. Yeah. And, That's um, what we want. I'll tell you what it's called. Um, I'll try to pull it up, Elizabeth. You, you. <coughs> okay, I'll carry off. on. I'll try to find. So, it. anyway, I do iced coffee now. When we moved into our new house that has an ice machine in the fridge, like a dispenser, it was completely <sighs> life changing, game changing, and and I also think back to like both of our pregnancies in our old home where we didn't have an ice maker, and I was very sick for much of both of them with. Um, hyperemesis or whatever, morning sickness, uh, I could only do ice, ice cold, super carbonated. And so having an ice maker would have really changed the game, but we <laughs> didn't. So I suffered through it. And I almost like, I almost wept when we moved in here and I opened my refrigerator and realized we have ice. Oh, no, it's so good. I wish we had an ice maker. Every time I refill our dumb trays, I'm just like, what are we doing with our lives here? Oh, this... I didn't know you didn't have it. We don't I have one. It's fine. <laughs> Source of We usually don't talk about it on the show. but So this is the one that you saw, Elizabeth. And this yes. one. And my friend, I will say, said it's the second best thing I've ever bought aside from my Volvo, which she drives the exact same car as me. And so that really spoke to me. Do you love your Volvo? It's uh, a podcast, did, yes. but it feels like a good bearing setting love thing for this ice maker. Volvo. So here's the, here's the, I looked into this, Elizabeth. I, I kind of almost think we have a spot for it next to the fridge if it tucked away. The mm. only thing is this one looks like you can hook up to the water supply, mm -hmm. which I'm sure we could get someone to do because there's a water supply going to the fridge. But it mentions there's also a drain, too. Do you think we have a drain situation set up for our refrigerator? Is that a common thing, JoJo? Do you know the answer to that? I think the answer is yes. I think it's just a line. Like, I think that's already happening with the, um, like, water and ice maker. It's just like a hose. you got to disconnect, so, reconnect kind of thing. I mean, I'm... I'm pretty hyped about this if that if it could go in the place where we would want it. And, yeah, and, and we I have the water also, hooked up. <clears throat> I will say, Randy just said, so what happens if the ice isn't all used in the day? Does it get all funky? And the truth is, we 
go through so much ice in our home that our ice maker does not make enough ice for us. Like yeah. every night when we're going to bed and we get the kids their waters, there's no fucking, sorry, that's fine. You can swear. There's no ice and it's upsetting <laughs> to everyone. So I think we would actually go through this ice and I would really love to have it. And so in my future beverage profile, I imagine I'm hitting that ice all morning through the working morning. <laughs> I'm on Zoom and I'm going up for ice refills nonstop and I'm excited about it. This is our first fantasy beverage profile moment, I think. <laughs> like what, 150 episodes. What is your vessel of choice for this water or drinking? Oh, well, a Tervis tumbler. And when <laughs> I actually... He sets I, them up, you knock them down. <laughs> I had some... I had three friends, three kind of like fancy friends over the other night. And they all were raving about... They were like, what are these? And I was like, well, let me change your life. Tervis Tumblr, it's such a, it, I grew up with them. Once you Tervis, you don't go back. In fact, our original Tervises, Andy, were gifted to us from Doris Devereaux. They life were, changing, life changing. Uh, a wedding you know, gift, made right? with our, They were a wedding gift made with our initials, and that kind of started us off for life. On the like embroidered patch inside the double walled Tervis plastic? Was yes. That? yes, and you can customize them if you want. I got some for our cabin that have like little pine, pine trees. Cute. Um, and I just love them. And now nothing else, like a regular glass, glass I find offensive. And like sometimes they have like a dishwasher smell or like hard water mm. stains on them. You don't get any of that with Tervis. Really? Yeah, it just slides right off. And the ice yeah. stays cold for forever it's great they really do a, a great job so i'm drinking my tervis of ice water then usually at lunch i might have a limoncello Lacroix mm. or just stick with water but in the afternoon when i'm starting to get like peckish and i i really like with work and stuff like <clears throat> i need to pick me up and that would be the time i should have a coffee but if i drink coffee then i won't sleep sadly so that's when I'll crack into a to Topo Chico Ooh. to wake me up That's what I'm trying to do over here. As you're trying to do, you do need a <laughs> bottle opener. God damn it. And then I, I am just water till the end of the night unless I'm like we're in a celebratory or sad mood, in which case, <laughs> depending on the season, I might have like a glass of wine. I might have... Uh, Elizabeth's amazing old fashions. I might have a margarita if we're having tacos. You know, delightful. Life, life continues, and um, that's it. Not and that exciting. What's your cutoff <clears throat> liquid time? In a, I'm trying to think for you. Like, are you? Is there water on the bedside table for you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Huh, like interesting. Something. A lot of it. Yeah. I'm trying to picture your room of the house. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She has a water dispenser, like a full-on arrowhead. <laughs> My room of the house. Um, yes. Sitting the West next Wing. to <laughs> two inches away from you, I am sipping water pretty much. You know, I put my mouth guard in. Yeah. And I keep drinking the water even after that sucker's in. Whoa. All the way up until I'm asleep. Nice. Out of a turvis? Out of a Tervis. And I Holy always have the lid on. The That's lid. another thing. Okay. That that answers my question. Because I'm like, I've, I've night guarded myself. And that Tervis rim is hefty. For those at home, it's like, I mean, it's like a half a centimeter thick of plastic. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure just where that fits in there. But the lid will help. It's, you know, they make those razor thin lids. It takes some lids. practice, but you'll, you'll get it. And then it's like second nature. <laughs> Was that time the bed was all puddles, Andy? You might remember <laughs> that era. Yeah, figuring well, out get, the Tervis night guard combo. Let's get to the main event and let's get let's gas both of you guys up because it's. I think you guys you're we ready need for it? a Great. charge okay. up. Oh, so, I'm so excited. We've got four different store bought. Let me bring up a picture of these guys of what we're drinking today. We got four cold brews. Let's see here. Uh, that we're drinking today. We've got the Starbucks Iced Coffee Medium Roast Unsweetened, which, Elizabeth, I know you've had that one before because I've picked that one up before. 
we've got, how do you think we pronounce this? Is it Stoke? Yeah. Stoke Cold Brew Coffee. We've got the Califia Farms Cold Brew Coffee, medium roast as well, and the Chobani Coffee Cold Brew Pure Black. So outside of the Starbucks, Elizabeth, have you had any of these other ones off the top of your head? No, I don't think so. I maybe have had Califia Farms. Okay. Jojo, what about you? Uh, I The Stoke one looks familiar. I think that's all I can say. I don't think I've had it on purpose. And just if we're if we're seeing into the future, yes. Is there any horse here that you guys want to bet on is going to take everything today? I'm going to say I bet Starbucks. I mean, I feel like they have been leaders in the coffee game for for a reason. Now, I don't like. I'm not a Starbucks obsessed person. Like I much prefer La Mill quality and stuff but i think in terms of this like grocery store brands i'm gonna go starbucks like they might just be sort of the coca-cola here like they just know what they're doing and it's gonna be solid yeah yeah i'm hopeful for the califia califia whatever that that one is um i don't know why i is it the there's is it the aesthetic of it of the labels or something that speaks to me and i'll tell you what i don't i'm not loving though is chobani I don't really love the idea of the yogurt people stepping into <laughs> coffee. <laughs> it doesn't oh, feel we, good. Didn't they step into, didn't, weren't they in our oat milk challenge maybe? I think maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I, I'm with you there. I, I have, I'm, not, I'm not having high hopes for Chobani, but I'm with Elizabeth. I think Starbucks will take it all today. So let's get um, into it. We're doing this blind. Just real fast. <laughs> real yeah. fast. Like, um housekeeping stuff you have my twitter handle on here at totally lame oh my goodness i and, even asked andy I said, and i'm not on twitter anymore um can you put it to my ig sure what would you like it to say <laughs> at elizabeth lame would be great <laughs> thanks all righty I'll, t- I'll fall on the sword for that one jojo don't even sweat that jojo I'm not worried about it. (laughs) All right, so let's get into these. We're doing this blind. I've labeled all the cups with random letters so I forget what they were, which succeeded again for me today. I have no idea what these are. But, um, Elizabeth, do you want to pick a letter? Is any letter on the table speaking to you? Um, L. Let's do L. Amazing. First one I can see. Great. (gasps) Good choice. So all I ask of both of you guys is to... However you're going to dress these up, if you're going to add ice cream, anything, just make sure you do it consistently for all four of them, right? Um, And so I'm going to add a little ice to mine, and I think a little milk, because that's how I like my iced coffee. Do you actually put milk in it? Yeah. What kind of milk are we talking? uh, Whole milk. If I'm at Starbucks, I'll do 2%. I think this came up a long time ago. Yeah. The only people I know who put milk in coffee... As opposed to like half and half, are are New York people. It is a very New York thing, and I don't know why that is. I, you know, nothing is more like joyous and indulgent as like a coffee in in Europe with the real cream. So well, I'm like, yes, try to get as close to that as I can, but. But now I'm just going black, so. This is one of my favorite things about um, about baking. So, like, around the holidays and stuff, mm. if I've got some uh, heavy cream around, that is going straight in the coffee. Yes. Oh, yes. And how about that Christmas song? When they pass around the coffee and the pumpkin pie. It just <laughs> makes me so happy. <laughs> Uh. All right, I'm doing, as it turns out, I'm doing six teaspoons of milk and a little ice. I guess I am going to go black for now. I'm going to see. I'm going to add some cream later. I did add ice. When you circle back, okay. This is, I'm very excited for you, Elizabeth, because since you are doing black these days, going. one of these might really speak to you. It might really change your life, you know? It really might. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. This first one smells. How's the smell, everybody? 
great, all right. great cold brew vibes. Mm-hmm. It does. Now, you guys are the experts here. I don't drink coffee anymore, so I really am going to default to you guys a lot. This feels pretty smooth to me, though. You're going to shit your pants <laughs> Oh my god, Andy, you're going to clear out. <sighs> we got a question from Siobhan. Uh, straw or no straw? I'm going no straw today. I started with straw, but I was concerned that the straw was like had a straw smell. So yeah, sure. This is smooth to me. I don't it is. love it though. Like I It's smooth. Compared it's to not... like one compared to one that like you love. Have you been getting an iced coffee just black lately out in a out in the wild? La Mel, I love. So can can you compare like give us sort of one that you love compared to like this? What's Now what's I want to say La Mel is definitely better with cream. All coffee mm-hmm. is to me, mm-hmm. of course. Um This maybe is even smoother than La Mel. La Mel has a bit more of a kick, but the flavor of this is eh. Now, is this yeah. wild? I'm getting, you're guys gonna think I'm crazy. I just had like a, there was something iced tea vibes about this to me. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, it's the same, it's made the same way, right? But there is something about it. It's got a little bit of like leaves taste to it. And it's a little bit, I can't say, yeah. it's not bitter, but you know whatever that like, it's got like a tanginess to it that, you know. Yeah, it's got I don't a love. it's got a bitter aftertaste without the bitter like, um, zap, zap. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Because it's not. I can't put my finger on it. It almost. Yeah, I don't love L. This okay. is. Um, Have we ever uh, done a bathroom break on T Bash? <laughs> already. <laughs> is that true? We haven't. Yeah, not in the live era. Okay. Um, let's move on. When it we're happens, gonna be circling, you'll know. We're going to be <laughs> circling back to all of these. So keep it nearby. Uh, Jojo, is there a letter speaking to you? I'm going to just... The L was actually the first one I could see in my line of sight looking into my bag. So I'm going to try that again. R. Okay. Let's go. Let's dress these up. Actually, I'm going to take a smell before I put anything in. Did you do these letters weird to confuse yourself? Like an R and a P and a K? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. I can't mm. even smell this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It kind of just smells smell like it? a dishwasher. <laughs> I'm milking up. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. So this one, yeah, the other one did have a nice aroma to it. I will say that about the other one. Oh, yeah. Try, you guys, try smelling the other one and then smell this one. This one has almost no smell. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, the other one, nice cold brew vibes. Nothing on this one. Okay, let's go. Ugh. I'd be very sad if I bought this. Gross. <laughs> Just gross. This one, I'm like, I'm Something's like, did my milk? All, yeah, did my my first thought was, did my milk spoil no, in front of my no. eyes in the last thirty seconds? <laughs> no, this something's very off. I'm not going back to that well. Oh, you gotta go no. back. <laughs> no. uh, l- l- there is Shape Obey in the comments asking. Ice coffee not usually too fragrant for me? Well, I can't answer that question for you, but I think it is pretty fragrant. It is, like, it has a smell, but it is way more mild. And this one doesn't. It, the absence of it, if anyone out there has gotten the COVID, the, like, original recipe or one of the ones that made you lose your taste and smell, mm. I'm having that sensation with this iced coffee where I'm my brain, my, like, synapses are expecting there to be smell and taste and there isn't one there is just like a weird like do you not taste just disgust like it's no, I, tastes I so bad yeah what's it weird is like, there's no smell oh, but then it, it tastes rotten or something 
it does. It, Do we guess which one's It tastes like a car, like car um, fabric do. liner or something, doesn't it? it or like a headliner in a car? It definitely has an automotive quality. Did you say a headliner in a car? Yeah. What's that? Isn't that the like the ceiling, like the the top oh, sure. of like the fabric top of an old car? You're I don't know. Or like that? maybe like How? a new when maybe a new car smell. Uh, I don't know. I'm picturing Joe the Joe trees nose to the roof of his car. <laughs> Any There's... car I go into, you put me in an Uber, I'm just going. There's something like gasoline or even like what's that um what's that stuff they use on tires um to clean it? Armor all yeah. Armor all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well that's Ugh. interesting. Gross. Auto auto Automotive. shop for sure. But yeah, not the a little like WD four WD forty? Yeah. Ooh, yes. All of the above for you guys. Elizabeth, will you take one more sip of that no, one for me? I, I don't want to, please. Don't make me. Okay, I'm going to go Carol K. brought me a bottle opener, by the way. So. Oh, nice. Feeling good. Hi, Carol. You're going K. All right, let's go K, guys. Oh, wait. Let's let's smell before we dress, guys. Just. Oh, mine Why? We can. smelled the other ones after we dressed. Well, is I mean, K, I'm, I'm just K is a can ones. for me, Roro. Is that right? K is what? Is K a can for me? No. Did I mess up? Oh no! Got it. Got it. Here we go. Very subtle smell again. And now I'm like worried. Yeah, it's interesting that L had the most smell so far. Okay, I'm doing my also weird. Smells. Vaguely like a. To be generous, a brown sugar smell, but just the fact that, like, you know, dish oh. detergent c comes out over a coffee smell is fucked up. Like, that shouldn't be the case. Josh, you have such a good nose. Thank you. I'm very impressed. You just said that, and now I'm like, oh, yeah, I totally smell the brown sugar. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> Maybe it should be a sommelier. It's okay. Real, it's real subtle, but I, I like the smell of this one. Okay, are we tasting? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, wow. Smoother than the others. At Ooh. first, I was like, this is going to be my favorite, but then there is a bit of a dish soap on the back end of it for me. This one's all right. This got, like, body to it, right? It's thicker. Yes. More um, vis the viscosity is different yeah. than the other this ones. This is my favorite one so far. I agree. Yeah. it's, But also in that way... That it lacks offending characteristics. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I would be like like how Andy, you were like, like you might this oh. might be amazing. So yeah. We'll have leftovers. So far, I'm like, I wouldn't be like, ooh, I get to have this. No, what you'd I probably still be like, I'm gonna go to Lamille today. You right? You would still be like, I'm gonna just like skip out and go do this, even if this is in the fridge. Totally. What we will do, Elizabeth, though, is I think whoever wins this today, I do want to in the next few days have you go get your favorite cold coffee and i want you to just have them side by side i'm very curious mm -hmm. but this one i wonder why what makes this one have that body that you're talking about jojo like it is mm. but it's very smooth it's almost lacking acidity like it, it's mm -hmm. it's it's mm -hmm. it's almost too smooth yes. like yeah it's almost watery like it, it in the taste it's weird it's strange yeah, it's syrup kind of I don't know. I like yeah, it totally Water syrup? syrup. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's move on to P, and then we'll have some time to circle back on all of these as well. Oh, wow. Andy, I really appreciate the care you put into setting me up over here. Oh, sure. Got my ice bucket. Okay. Just while we're all dressing these up, for several weeks we've been talking about listener Matt Matt's lovely gifts of tumblers, oh, yeah. laser engraved. But we talked about the pint glass and the Easter egg in the pint glass. I'm going to see if it'll come up on the camera. You want me to is, zoom you in? You can. I think you can see it on the bottom. Is let me, let me pull you in. Boop. It says that was a tasty root beer. Oh my gosh! So that's you amazing. can, so you can read it as you're drinking. So if you're just like, gah, 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 gah. that's what I'm imagining is you chug a root beer, that and then that's staring cool. you in the face. So very sweet. Anyway, 
Uh, pee. They may taste it. No. Pee. Also, not Smell really. There's nice kind smell. of a kind of a smell. Josh, what would you call this? <laughs> You're my go-to. <laughs> I need you to like give this context for me. Dude, I almost had to dunk my nose in it. This kind of just feels between the the brown sugary one and and L. Like the it kind of has like a a urine oh, smell. Ooh, taste it. taste it. Like something, yeah, like an ammonia kind of thing going on. God, huh. all four of these are insanely different. Yeah. This is a problem when, especially when people will say to me, and I'm, because I'm very pro cold brew, like say they don't care for it, where I'm like, well, just like any coffee or kind of anything in the world, things can taste different, you know, like the, maybe you just haven't found the one for you or like <coughs> maybe you need to treat it differently. Like I find I... I'll dress up a cold brew differently than I might a hot coffee, maybe. I'm actually having a sense memory mm. that I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. Why are you laughing, Andy? I'm like coming unhinged over here. My <laughs> caffeine body situation is going through the roof and I'm going <laughs> to shit my pants. <laughs> 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 Sorry, please continue. Elizabeth's having like a past life memory. <laughs> I remember when I was young and um, <laughs> no, this, I, I'm almost positive I know what brand it is. And I think this brand has like an across the board vibe. That a monopoly on coffees. Th this is matching and I'm not a fan. Interesting. Okay. The first sip I had of this mm. one made me grimace. I was like, ugh. But then sip two and three are more palatable for me. And it's it's also smooth like, um, I guess, was that the one that we just did? Oh, gosh. I got, I've got i lost track of the letters. Now I really confuse myself. Siobhan in the chat saying G-S-Y. Go shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So but funny. there is this one's growing on me more than yeah. the other three have. Yes, I actually could see myself having this. This is the thing. The whole point to me of iced coffee is you you nurse it over time. Like you have it, it carries you through the first two hours of work where you're like hell yeah. And the other three, even though I don't love this, I don't love any of them. I'll be honest. But the other three. I can't see myself enjoying for more than like five minutes. But this one, I think I could nurse for a while. Go back to, let's start circling back because uh, Elizabeth, you really nailed it, I think, with that comment. But I'm also worried that you're getting in my head a little bit with your previous comment about this one. About which, which one? About P. And just, Elizabeth thinks she knows what P is. I do. And mm. that's messing with my head. Let's go. Everybody circle back, though. Was K the third one we did? Yes. yes. We went okay, LRKP. Let's, let's go back in backwards order. So let's go I K. I R very far away from me. <laughs> KRL. So hey, K tastes like almost nothing after yes. drinking P. Yes. Oh, this is the one we said was kind of automotive. Yeah, uh, no, I think it's, well, we're going to find out. Okay. Maybe that was R. R is mm. the horrible one. I put it far away from me. I don't even want to go back. There's really something about K is so smooth. R does stink. Oh, R my is God. Really R weird. is God fucking awful. <laughs> fucking honestly, it's, L it's is like, disgusting. It's like rotten milk. It really. I'm so curious what yours <laughs> tastes like with no milk in it, Elizabeth. They're all gross. <laughs> They are. I really was hoping, we were talking ahead of time, like, oh, how much should I put in the mason jars and all this stuff? I was like, well, if we drink all of these, that's your coffee for the day by far. But, like, I'm not going to. Yeah, not worried. Unfortunately, P I'm going to go make some coffee. is the only viable. Yeah, me too. P is the only viable candidate here. But, yes, I am going to go make myself a hot chocolate fudge Nespresso after this to... Cleanse the palate. Yeah. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, God. All right. Andy, you look 
pale. Are you okay? It's, it's this is hard for me. You I, really do. <laughs> I'm I'm really <laughs> realizing why I stopped drinking coffee because it does. It's weird because I can have like a can of Coke or back in the day a Mountain Dew and the caffeine doesn't mess me up. But I don't know if it's the delivery system. I yeah. feel hyped up. And then you add the gastrointestinal stuff and it's really just gripping the, the side of my armchairs on this chair. Uh, what did I want to say? I'm really I'm coming out of my body. Um, <laughs> I Do you. uh I don't really have a question for you. I just want to know, would you, is there anything, would you even be curious to have another iced coffee after this, a cold brew, another cold brew of some kind? Yeah, or because... is this making you feel like I made my, the right choice and I'm staying away from coffee for all time? I, I think the only time I would do it is if I crave that buzz, which is so rare. It's like maybe once a year. And the other thing, though, is occasionally I'll make a, a decaf iced coffee with an espresso, and I just use decaf espresso, and I think it's like one or two pods, mm -hmm. and then with milk and some vanilla sweetener. That I like as a treat. Um, but no, this isn't getting me back on the, the cold brew game. Um, <laughs> let's... Let's rate added these. some half and half to each one. Let's yeah, let's rate these. Let's each rate these first and then oh, we're all going to guess what they are. Okay? Okay. I'm just watching JoJo torturing himself. I don't know why I just drank R again. R is really interesting. R is by far the worst to me. Then how, talk to me the difference between R and L for you. Elizabeth. Yeah, I, I cuz L, L oh. was one that you wouldn't even go back to before. No, no, that was R. We what did L first? first. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm going P, L, K, and then a very long distance, and then R. Okay, wait. Let me write these down. P is top. Yeah. L, mm -hmm. K, R. So you put an L second. Okay. JoJo. It's basically yeah. the best. You want yeah. me to go now? Okay. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to go... One, wait, one more time. Ugh. Tom, Tom, Tom. What was that? That was okay. Hmm? Okay, we got someone Hitting in the that. chat okay. that says, this, the stoke I got today reminded me of the Folgers instant, if that gives anyone any hints. <clears throat> oh. Oh, that does give me a hint. I bet I know which one it is then. Okay, I think... This is a... Oh. This is kind of last minute, but... It, I'm surprising myself here even going K P R L. I do think L is actually the grossest. You're, You're doing K, K then P. Yeah. And all then can R L? I, I think the reason why is because now it feels like out of self preservation. I'm really not liking the L feels dangerous to me. The the flavor of it is so like jarring and intense it makes me feel like i kind of want to throw up a little bit where r is gross but i wouldn't it's kind of it, it's pretty like light still so i don't i'm not like as offended by it k i don't even remember what i said p oh yeah p has like still a little bit of the coffee flavor i'm liking k the best because it tastes like absolutely nothing and it just kind of, I could finish this one. That's the one I could finish. So it's going to the top. That's K. all. Interesting. K. So K -P -R -L. K -P -R -L. Okay, great. I'm going to go, I'm really tossed between K and P for my tops. Okay, I'm going to go P, top, K, L, R at the very bottom. R is rotten to me. Me too. Else. P, me too. I think, is just the most drinkable long term. Elizabeth, again, you might be getting in my head. K, I kind of like. Smooth. L, I, I don't like. All right, P, so P now is let's... getting weirder and weirder. I'm let's guess you. which ones these are. I'll, let me bring up the list so you guys can see it as we're guessing. Um... Ugh, I am like so mad. It, I have such I a different this. view of this picture. Like when we first looked at it, I was like, ooh. And now I'm just like, you fucking fucks. <laughs> <laughs> so Elizabeth, P, what do you think P is? I think P is Califia Farms. 
Whoa. Oh. Did not see that coming. Okay. Jojo, what do you think P is? Should we do it that way? Or should we oh. get all of Elizabeth's first? Let's do all of Elizabeth's. Okay. What do you think L is? Are you writing um, these down? Yeah, I'm writing them down. Oh, thank you. Okay. L, I think, is Chobani. Okay. K, I think, is Starbucks. And R, I think, is Stoke. Whoa. <laughs> wow, You think K is Starbucks? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, JoJo, um, top of the mountain for you, K. What do you think K was? Uh, I think, because I'm trying to ride with it, is Califia Farms. Hmm. I'm going to say... And do both of you... It seems like both of you have positive feelings about Califia Farms in general. Is there No, a I don't. I don't. Oh, as a brand? And yet they're potentially your winner, Elizabeth? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it's the top of the pile of shit is Califia <laughs> yeah. Farms. I, okay. enough, I don't have a good vibe with that brand. Okay. Um, Jojo P, your oh, second God. pick. My second pick is Starbucks. Nice. And then R is Chobani, because I feel like they don't understand what coffee is. Why should they? And then <laughs> I think L is stoked, because I think they're like, we hit you with coffee. <clears throat> they're stoked now. <laughs> like, And that's what's happening okay. with it. I love it. P, the top of the one, I'm going to go with JoJo on this. I think it's Starbucks also. Okay. K. I'm going to go is Califia Farms. L, I think, is Chobani. I, for, for some reason, my gut. You think L? Okay. Yeah, and I yeah. feel really strongly about that one for some reason. I don't know <laughs> why. And then R, that leaves Stoke for R for me. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. You guys ready? Which one? Which bottle do you want me to pull out first to reveal? Should we start with Starbucks maybe? This the... Yeah. What's yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, Starbucks was P. Oh, oh. P. yes, Jojo and I. Hey. P. Wow, I was hey. certain. A hint of coffee flavor. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna circle that. Ooh. Next up, what should I pull out next? Let's do Stoke. Yeah, let's okay. just do these in order. Wow. Stoke was. Letter K. Oh, Shit. nobody got that one. No, my favorite of the bunch. And I'm here ragging on their name and <laughs> everything. All right, so Stoke was K. Wait, and didn't Which... someone just said in the chat? Yeah, so that LL Folgers. Jr. said y says yeah. it tastes like Folgers Instant. I could be saving myself a lot of money. Somebody earlier in the chat, though, was like, I'm really rooting for Stoke. So Stoke performed. It was the top for JoJo, second for me, third for Elizabeth. So okay. I did okay. Okay, I'm going to pull out Califia Farms. If this is R, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Califia Farms was L. Oh, oh. shit. That's surprising to me. Whoa. So that means Chobani really doesn't know how to make cold brew coffee. Well, wait. Does that mean... Oh, wait. I'm very... And then Chobani is R. I mean, Chobani's that certainly tracks. the one that we thought was rotten, Andy. So JoJo was the only one that got that right. So JoJo got Which Chobani. One? I got the correct. Chobani one. Fuck you yeah. got Chobani and Starbucks. You got, you got two out of two four. Two for two. All right. Two uh, I got four. one out of four. Elizabeth, no points on the board. <laughs> I can't believe... This, the Califia one is, or whatever it is, is that's pretty wild. It's so intense. Well, whatever. So what whatever. is what is good to know <laughs> we about this one at night? It turns out. What is interesting, Elizabeth, is your favorite actually was the Starbucks one. Yeah. Which is, I think, in a pinch, probably the one to have. And in the house. you know what? You know, we live near a Vons that has a Starbucks kiosk in it, and. Yeah. There have been a few times like, oh, I've had to run to Vons early in the morning to get something for blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I will grab a Starbucks. And it's never like, it's not the same as like 
ooh, I'm going to La Mill or whatever. No. It's always just like, eh. And that's just right. That's yeah. what this was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I will say, as somebody who likes to make cold brew from scratch, and I really did mean to do that for this episode so that everybody <laughs> can have some, is, uh, it, but it's it's kind of, it doesn't always turn out perfectly, but it is, I think it does reveal a lot. It's not something, it's not a place to skimp because it is really putting the beans first, you know, because it's, uh, it, it can be very like delicate flavors and stuff like that. And it can get a lot of that stuff out of it, which is always really interesting to me. So like, especially, yeah, going to like a local coffee shop and getting their cold brew is always going to be the move. Because it's going to be intense, but probably also different than anything you've had, you know? And it's going to be really good. And they always get it really thick. They, they get really get that concentrate down. So it always really tastes. Like you can kind of feel it ripping through your body in a great yeah. way. Love it. <laughs> I have a little treat for you guys. Elizabeth, I forgot to pull it out of the fridge. So, Elizabeth, you're going to need to stand up and go to the fridge real quick. There's a can wrapped in foil on the top shelf I want you to grab real quick. Okay. And, Jojo, you have your can, mm-hmm. correct? So I'll wait for Elizabeth to get back about this. In the meantime, follow Elizabeth Lame at Elizabeth Lame on Instagram. Yeah, do not go to Twitter. It's a grand And uh, follow us at uh, T-Bash Live on all of the socials. Um, that's where you can find us. So unfortunately, I don't have one of these cans. So this is really just going to be a treat for you two. Thank you. Um, now, you guys can drink them out of the can or pour them into a cup. I don't think it really matters. I'm not going to tell you what this is. Um, <laughs> I really just want to... It is... It is of... Um, it makes sense to do on this episode. This isn't like a uh, a prank drink. I'll okay, say that. we're not going to drink like Monster Energy drink after no, 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 just it's, drinking all oh, of this. Oh, that's what I was expecting it to be. I thought it oh, was no, no, going to no. be an energy no, 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 drink. No, no, no. This got a is red not a, tab. This is not a prank, but I I truly want you guys to sip this and tell, (laughs) explain what it tastes like. (laughs) This is upsetting on top of all of the the cold Oh, dude, this smells like a Coca-Cola to me. Okay. Um, Oh, it smells like something else to me that I know. Oh, my goodness. (sighs) And please save some for me, Elizabeth, because I really want to try this. You have not tried this? No. I should have gotten three cans. I, I you have to up. try it. It reminds me of something from my childhood. First of all, it's like, it tastes diety, like aspartame Oh, interesting. Okay. There, Yeah, like there's something going on. I, I feel like it's supposed to be a c- Take cola. Take a real rip off of it, Ooh, Elizabeth. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shape of Bay just said, I suspect it's the cake and coffee combo. Coke. Coke and coffee. I think that's exactly what this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is somebody's. <laughs> Andy's going. Oh, oh. <laughs> huh. interesting. I'm. I gotta say, it's sweet as hell. Okay. We're gonna have tummy aches after this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, All right. Do you guys want to rip off the out. foil and see what it is? If you can, if I didn't tape it on. I too like much. it. I can taste the herby formula. I'm not sure this is going to be a major distributor or not. Mm. 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 Okay. It's like San Pellegrino. What's happening? Ooh. Oh, intro. Oh. Wait, did you get yours off? I'm, I'm struggling over here. Yeah, Hang on. I, did. <laughs> oh, no. I can't get through this painter's tape. I used to have hands like a surgeon. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ah. E- okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's the vanilla Coke coffee with yes. coffee. Shea, Shea Bobe. Bobe. Nailed you it. Nailed it. So knowing that, what do you guys think of it? I'm, I just saw it in Elizabeth. I was like, what if Elizabeth loves this? I don't. I, I think it's a novel thing and it's fine, but it's way too sweet for me. Like it, it has that aspartame sweet vibe that gives me a headache and... Can you look at the um, sugar count? Is it is it sugar or is it indeed maybe not sugar and something else? Does it have stats on there? I think it's um, I mean total sugar is eighteen grams. I but I do. 
it's got high fructose corn syrup, but then it's got sucralose and acetyl yeah. fame. You know, I think that is is um is that Splenda, right? Where like it's sugar, but it is you know, yeah. so it's make it super sweet mm. and a little. What wait? You have a what flavor is yours? Vanilla. Oh, mine's caramel. Oh, interesting. We have different flavors. And Randy was saying, is it better than the other stuff you had today? Yes. Yes, it, it is. is. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it, given, um, well, I mean, caloric, well, I mean, 70 calories for the can. Fuck it. I'd do it. I think, yeah, if it was like you're at the airport and you got a 6 a.m. flight kind of thing and they're at the little stand is this and a bottle of Chobani um, black water, I would get uh, this. I would. I think I would reach for this for sure as like a little treat. Yeah, I would much have rather t- taste tested four different flavors of this. 100% this do the flight. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I but feel you. that's so fun, Andy. Thanks for that nice surprise. Yeah. You guys got I'm, it. You guys got it. Can I ask Jojo something? Because I know he's a big ice cream guy. How how what are your thoughts and feelings about coffee ice cream? I love it. Oh. Wow, interesting way to thread that, that into the show. You know, um, my mom loved coffee, like and drank quite a lot of it. And mm-hmm. loved coffee ice cream. And when she was sick, she, you know, she died from cancer, but she had she would have like a coffee milkshake every single day. Mm. That was her like big thing. Um, and so that was my introduction to coffee was eating. I mean, I was eating coffee ice cream when I was like eight because yeah, that was yeah. the kind we had in our house. And so I was, I was hooked from, you know, a very young age. Yeah, from the age of eight. Yes, totally. <laughs> we would have coffee ice cream too. I don't know if it was just, boy, this one may be burpy though. Um, if they, if it was something, I don't feel like there were that many flavors of, I would love to go back in time to a grocery store from our childhoods for many reasons, but the ice cream aisle, I feel like I can remember when like cookies and cream was like introduced. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it feels yeah. like it was a rare thing to have anything other than sort of chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, but coffee seems to be one of those. And certainly no one gave a shit about kids eating it. It is made with coffee, like, yeah. You know, there's no way to get around that. You're, you're, it, there's like a, a cup of coffee in there. Um, so I love that. I mean, I love, I mean, yeah, the milkshakes are such a damn treat. And a coffee milk, I mean, a, 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 a coffee milkshake, it's really the best of all worlds. I just, I told this to Andy recently, but like growing up in St. Louis, we would go to Baskin Robbins as a mm-hmm. treat. And um, I really loved, sweets and loved ice cream and also like didn't get enough of it in my life because I mean I guess every kid really wants that but um also like my mom would go through phases of like there's no treats in the house because she's you know on some whatever and um so when we would go to uh Baskin Robbins like all of my friends would be like I want a scoop of this I want a scoop of this and I would be like I want a mint chocolate chip milkshake thick and so basically (laughs) they would just like there was like barely any milk they just kind of blended straight ice cream so i basically got like four scoops of ice cream in my it was a a little um what's that called a hack it is a hack that is a hack you say thick and they can't (laughs) yeah they can't water that thing down that's a good one oh man yo oh and shay's asking if we all fucks with affogato that's the espresso over a vanilla ice cream do you know that I have oh. never had that? You would love that. You would. I yeah. would, but here's the problem is the only times I would feel like ordering it would be like when we're out to a big meal and it's kind of fancy yeah. and I'm too terrified of being kept awake. I would be kept awake. I wonder if the, you could do a decaf one. Still a Ooh, little yeah. risky, yes. but yeah. that might be the, the play. That you could guys, do it. Looking at this feed, I don't know if I just really messed up my lighting or if it really is what is happening in my body. I look ridiculous compared to you, <laughs> rosy cheeked people. You look very pale. You do. You're like <laughs> blending into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one in like a white balanced room. You know, like it should oh, be. <laughs> gosh. 
Oh, I don't wait. know. The LA well, on your hat's popping, so I don't think it. I don't think. It's, yeah. I don't think it's lightning. Um, the one last thing I'll say. This is a locals only thing, unfortunately for our listeners, but for those in the LA area, there is a coffee shop called Go Get 'Em Tiger that has a few locations mm-hmm. now, and they do a coffee milkshake, and it is fucking yes. awesome. Yes, it's like it, a granulata almost, like it's a. Right? I don't know what that means. It's like so, it's like a soft serve, like. Oh yes. Oh my god, it's, it's so good. It's awesome, and it is. It's one of those things. It's like I want to say it's like twelve or fifteen bucks. Like it feels like way too much money for a, what is ultimately a milkshake, you know. But it is fucking excellent, so and it's good. a real it's a real power move, especially if you're just going to get coffees with people and you walk out with them. It's like getting your extra thick. Uh, thing while everybody else is getting dumb cones does it does Real it power pack move. a punch also because in yeah. my coffee days when i would get a nice coffee at go get them tiger hold on because i feel like that's the strongest coffee i've ever had yeah uh, that thing rips oof. all right it, well, let's, and it's, it's good. very good i i like their coffee a lot in fact you just reminded me like that that exists like we don't live that far away from one. Oh yeah that's yeah true. that's very no true. i never go there we should probably go now because yeah this was terrible. This was terrible. I'm actually eating like my kids' leftover breakfast right now because my stomach is feeling like mm-hmm. not great. You guys, need, need, don't worry about your stomach. Don't even up. worry about your stomachs. Uh, okay, let's go. We have one more segment of the show, Elizabeth, and this mm. part of the show is called Brian's Question. Oh my so God, when... Brian's Question still lives. Oh yeah. Aww. So when we originally started the show. Our brother-in-law sent us 100 questions, and as we rebooted the show in this Twitch era, T-Bash Live, he sent us another 100. So, Jojo, do you want to bring up this week's question? Boy, do I. It's in the flow. All right. Is it? All right, Elizabeth, can you read that? Oh, boy. This is in the flow. (laughs) Wow. You know when you're just at the right place at the right time? Um, Boy, do I. (laughs) Okay, so... Andy recently... Can you read the question first? Oh, sorry. (laughs) When should a margarita be frozen, if ever? Um, Andy recently convinced me to purchase... Well, he purchased. Convinced me to uh, approve his purchase because we have such limited space in our kitchen. A wonderful appliance that I... I fully admit I was so off even thinking for a second we shouldn't have it. What's it called, Andy? It's a blender. It starts with a B. Okay. I just heard somebody's tummy. That was mine. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry to call that out, but I know we're all in trouble. It's very uh, upsetting. Is it the buzz or the bolt or something? It's not the Nutribullet. Oh, my gosh. You don't know what it's called? This is I'm like just such a big a, thing. I'm just having a moment. Well, beast. I the beast. beast. The beast. It's the beast. Yes. Thank, thank you, you, Rosa. Rosa. So, um, and, and in tandem with this, we went to Hawaii somewhat recently where I kind of was re like rekindled my love affair for blended drinks because I had several pina coladas while there. So I, I've been doing a thing. I don't know if Andy's mentioned, we recently got a new picnic table that has come come up. It's completely changed our lives, and Andy found like the most amazing picnic table you could find in Los Angeles. It's you're why are you shaking course. your head? You're veering off course a little bit. Well, let me get there the way I want this to. Feels, this feels related. I've been ha- I've been having oh, well, friends over, like you know, once every two weeks, a couple of friends over, and we order home state tacos, and I'm pulling out that beast. And I'm blending margaritas, and let me tell you, it elicits a joy that a regular just on ice margarita would not. And they are good, and, and everyone it, thinks so. And it seems Fucking like you have yeah. it really dialed in with the beast. Here's my question. If we got the ice maker nugget machine, would that factor into these margaritas or do you think those nuggets would be too small and fragile for the margarita or is that just hyping up your margarita game even more 
No, I think I think for the beast because the beast is so powerful that I mean, <laughs> those those little nuggets wouldn't even stand. It would just be obliterated. Like you need real ice to be. But what the beast does is it turn? You know, like um, what's that called at Seven Eleven? Ice cubes. Slushy. No, the oh, Slurpee. slushies. Slurpee. Slurpee. The beast turns this into a margarita Slurpee. Like it's that smooth Whoa. and fine, and it is. It's not like your chunky blended margarita. It's a, Holy a really shit. great experience. And have you from? I feel like you kind of knocked it out of the park. The your first go at them. Have you refined your technique with the beast and the margs at all oh, this summer? No, and, and you know, I also got that amazing margarita mix from Little Flower that was, I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah, we'll look that up. We should do a margarita mix uh, yeah, yes. it's time. episode at some point. Because I feel like there's one, one of those like Stonewall Kitchen or, you know, there's somebody like that that does also like a serious one that we got in like a gift basket or something one yeah. time that you probably wouldn't buy off the shelf because it's, you know, they're just either like too expensive or it's weirdly at like a furniture store. Um, <laughs> but like you, it's good. It's, it is really fucking good. It makes such a difference. Um, you know, I just wanted you guys all to know that I, so I've been munching on my kids like leftover oatmeal bites and just went to, I got a little thirsty and I just was like, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm going to reach for something to drink. And immediately was like, I can have none of this. I have <laughs> five drinks in front of me and none of them are worth it. So it's a real twilight zone situation here. Yeah. So, okay. So let's answer the, <laughs> the question. Um, oh, question. I think, I think most of the time I now, now okay. I'm a convert and I'm like, if you're going to. To me, having it blended frozen ups the joy quotient. I mean, I'm always about seeking joy when you can. Why not go all the way with it? It kind of feels like a margarita on ice right now to me feels like it's like you're, it's a tease. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I want in. Are you, I want yeah. no no protection. <laughs> like can, let's wow. go. Wow. All right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> can you add salt to a frozen margarita? Of course. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. So you, I, you you do the glass first and then pour the frozen yes, margarita. Yes, I salted I'll, I salted two rims last week. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Salt's uh, available <laughs> if you on, want it. On that note, I kind of <laughs> I'm not going to say I want to wrap up. I'm, I kind of need to wrap this show up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, you have been a true delight. Thank you Aww, for joining thanks. us. I'm a little disappointed that one of these didn't shine so bright and change your life. But uh, if anything, you have more clarity on your life now. So that's a positive, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes. Um, Jojo, any final thoughts? Elizabeth, any final thoughts? And Elizabeth, is there anything you want people to know about to check out? They can follow you on Instagram at Elizabeth Lame. Anything else you want to hype up? Um, yes. Any other questions you want to ask? <laughs> <laughs> can we please wrap up the show right now? <laughs> um, you can find me at Instagram as it, right there, Elizabeth Lame. Also, Andy and I do a weekly podcast called Nobody's Listening Right. Also, I'm launching a new podcast maybe in September, October, probably, called The One Sure Thing. Um, so look that up. It's all about death and dying. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We love uh, it. I love you so much to everybody that joined us in the chat. Thank you so much, JoJo. You're the best. And are you ready, JoJo? Uh, I am. Uh, go, go fuck yourself. yourself.